Draper, everybody, Janelle. Woo! Woo! Yeah, Janelle. Woo! Yeah, Janelle. Yes, thanks. I'm from Boston. My mom's 100% Italian, and my dad's 100% Irish, which means they're 200% divorced. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I can't stop staring at my own face on Zoom, probably because I'm ridiculously insecure. <laughs> <laughs> Not to brag, but I'm insecure about a lot of things. I had scoliosis growing up. Guess I shouldn't have prayed for curves. Just <laughs> 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 like when God made me, he was like a macho dad assembling Ikea furniture. Just like, I don't need the instructions. I've seen a chair before. <laughs> My spine is like Axl Rose dancing if he also cried every night. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 stereotype that women aren't as strong as men that we have no backbone then i found out women are 10 times more likely to get to get scoliosis so is it societal pressure or my spine that makes me sign off every email with sorry thank you sorry <laughs> <laughs> my backbone is literally a question mark <laughs> <laughs> so i recently turned 31 but I'm suddenly feeling all this pressure to be successful and no matter how successful I get I'm still too old for Forbes dirty under 30 and who cares about Mr. Forbes in his 100 year old magazine he probably doesn't even have a TikTok <laughs> TikTok you might think you want to be like Kylie Jenner, Taylor Swift, but jokes on them because men will be too emasculated by their success to date them. So they can just scissor into the starry night. <laughs> I can't believe I'm in my thirties officially and my brain's fully developed. It's scary because I just asked my mom if I could eat a seven day old hard boiled egg. <laughs> she said, yes, but peel it. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm not a snake. I do wish she told me to chew it, though. <laughs> you know those weirdos who were like, my mom's my best friend. Uh, well, that's me. <laughs> but it's not just me. My mom is so cool. My friends want to hang out with her, too. One time, my friend Jenna was like, hey, your mom's taking me skinny jean shopping today. You don't mind, right? And I was like, so neither of you are going to come to my birthday party? <laughs> oh, Vicky, you guys go have fun. I'll have another birthday next year. <laughs> well, I've been going to therapy for six years now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, not because we have a tumultuous relationship, but because I have a tumultuous bank account. <laughs> It's hard being a comedian in therapy because you have a captive audience. I'm like, should I work on myself or get laughs? Um, <laughs> when I leave, I when I leave, I look at everyone in the waiting room, just like, good luck following that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been doing therapy over Zoom, and my therapist is at home with a newborn breastfeeding. And our our last session, I asked if we could be Facebook friends, and she said, Chanel, I feel the need to remind you that this is a business relationship. And I was like, oh, really then? I feel the need to remind you that I can see your areola. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna pluck that hair. <laughs> wow. So I, I, I do smoke pot, but only when I'm anxious every day. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to enjoy pot when you're an anxious person. So when I smoke with friends, I want to make sure I'm super safe and we're all safe. But then I'm the narc who unnecessarily called the fire department and ruined the bonfire. <laughs> I am a people pleaser, which means I can't say no to anyone. And when you get a wedding invite, you have two options, accept or regretfully decline. I always regretfully accept. <laughs> 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 I've been a bridesmaid 10 times and I've enjoyed it oh, zero. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> unless, unless one of my married friends is in the audience, in which case I loved it. <laughs> 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 gorgeous, Tiffany. Please keep asking me. This is all I have. 
<laughs> I even got to be maid of honor for my sister's wedding. And that was tough because she made the whole weekend about her. <laughs> so, <laughs> after she said, I do, I was like, how did I do? <laughs> so, it's tough when you're broke and a people pleaser because you tend to overcompensate. Like I get invited to you know a good amount of bachelorette trips and they always start off affordable and then two weeks before they're like actually we're going to south africa the maid of honor emails all of the girls all 20 girls on one email chain like let me know if you can't afford it and i'm like oh okay fine you know what i'm a comedian living in a one bedroom in new york city so the entire airbnb is on me <laughs> <laughs> I ex reached out recently asking if we can be friends. And I was like, oof, I don't think I can do it. And he was like, too painful. And I was like, too busy. <laughs> <laughs> My roster is full. I don't have a free brunch until 2025. You want to be in the wait list? <laughs> <laughs> I've been to 6,500 weddings and I can't get one bitch to come to a Zoom show. <laughs> hey. that. you love you babe let's run that's my time guys i gotta go repair all my friendships <laughs> hey. Woo. 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 Woo.